to turn you over to Kim, who will talk a little bit about what you should be doing with your time in terms of the networking and in terms of how to rely on film commissions during the course of the entire year. You make the contact at AFM, you get information, you're always going to come back and think, wait a minute, maybe this is something I want to take to Nevada or Missouri or wherever. I have a card from that location. Let me go back and find out what's happening there. So, Kim? Thank you so much, Jean, for the introduction, and thank you to IFTA for inviting me to share with you the importance of working with film commissions and why you should visit us all at uh, Location Expo at this year's AFM. Um, first, if you've never worked with a film commission before, we are a free resource. We are here to help you uh, make the connections with the things you need to succeed when you're filming in our regions. And film commissions can exist on the state level, the local level, if, if, if you're not in the U.S., on a country level. Um, we exist all over the world, and we all kind of provide the same free service and that's connecting you with film-friendly locations. We know what you need to uh, permit certain areas or which areas to avoid because they're they're hard to permit where you'll run into that red tape. Uh, we know our local crew base and our local vendors and service providers. Most film offices have both a locations database and a crew and services directory on their website that you can search online at any time. Uh, but also, if you want to send us an email or pick up the phone to ask a specific question, we are here to answer those questions as well. And most film offices, if they don't administer the film tax incentive program of their region themselves, they at least can share information about it and uh, how to access it. Uh, those tax incentive programs can be uh, rather tricky to navigate. Uh, and you should definitely ask for assistance if that's what you're pursuing for your production. Um, you know, we we are a wealth of information and we are here to share it with you. So, again, if you've never worked with a film office before, please, please reach out. Uh, and as Jean said, you can do this all year round. That's what our office does. Um, and, and we're here to help. But the reason you should come to see us specifically while you're attending AFM at uh, Location Expo, which Jean mentioned will be on the second floor um, of this year's, uh, this year's location, um, I guarantee that there is something about the regions that are showcasing there that you don't know. You may think, hey, I've been to Las Vegas. I know what Nevada has to offer. I've seen The Hangover. I've seen Ocean's Eleven. Um, but we're we're much more than that. And film commissions are responsible for knowing their regions and what we all what we have to offer. Uh, Nevada also has mountains and lakes and ghost towns and uh, natural rock formations that look uh, otherworldly, like you could fill double it for Mars, things like that. And I guarantee that every region showcasing at Location Expo will have similar things to share with you that you are only going to find out by talking to us and asking those questions. You may think, oh, my script calls for this, so I can only film in this specific region, without knowing that our landscape throughout the U.S. and throughout the world is so diverse, and you may not be aware of all of these hidden gems within our regions. And so, again, that's another reason why you should come talk to us uh, while you're here. Um, those of us with booths will usually have people manning our booths to be able to help answer these questions. Um, we'll also be walking around and, and attending the sessions and networking and working the event ourselves to try to build those uh, relationships. Um, and it's not just the filmmakers specifically that we can help, you know, last year at last year's AFM, we met with a distributor who actually lives in Las Vegas. There's uh, several Las Vegas based distributors that, uh, you know, traditionally attend AFM. And he asked us a very smart question, which I really appreciated. And he asked, who are the up and coming filmmakers that you guys know of? Who are the people already producing films in your region uh, that are working the, the festival circuit? You know, who's made a short that they're now working on their, their feature film? Who 
doesn't have distribution yet that really deserves a chance? And I really appreciated this question because no one knows the local community like that film commission. Mm -hmm. That's our job is to know what resources we have available. And we also get pitched ideas from our local community members all the time. And we think, oh, that would be such a great project to film and it would be great to film here. Uh, but really, we can't help you until you have funding and, and are ready to, you know, scout locations and, and make call sheets. Uh, so this market creates a very great opportunity for those film commissions, not only to pitch their regions, but to share with everyone the talent that's already here and help them network. And that's what uh, our office will be planning on doing uh, this year as well. Um and another note just on how important that networking is, you know, in terms of attending AFM for Location Expo, our office has been attending for several several years now. And as a state agency, we have very few marketing dollars to work with. So we have to be very smart about how we use those resources to market our region because we want your business. We want to market to you and have you film your next production with us. So we see that economic benefit, but we don't have a lot of marketing dollars and we choose to spend it on AFM because of the networking value it provides. This is a business event. It's not a film festival where just anyone can come and, and watch a movie and decide they, they like the movies and, and that's what they're going to do as attend. This is for business, industry, professionals. Um, and having that network all together all of these people all in the same location with the same goals. Uh, you could meet uh, anyone just grabbing a cup of coffee, standing in line, uh, waiting at the bar for a drink. All of these are opportunities to network, to make connections. And a lot of times those connections carry you out through years. As Jean was saying, um, a lot of uh, relationships are formed during AFM. And that's the value that I think bring this market brings for us because this is a relationship business and you should work on fostering those relationships. Thank you, Kim. That's incredibly helpful, I think. But also I want to say to everybody, this of course is our first year in Las Vegas. Um, one of the first calls we made was to Kim's office. So we are, we are firsthand users of their services and continue to call them quite regularly for things like, we need a new videographer. We're not going to bring somebody from California to do that in a city that is known for its entertainment sector. We call them. We've called them, for example, to uh, get connected to the film programs at the local universities, uh, which will now feed our in internship program. They're really just, not only are they incredibly helpful, they are there to be helpful. And I think that's, that's important. The other thing that they do know is they've seen it all. You know, if you're trying to figure out just the physical issues related to production or financing or who's active in the marketplace, they know that. So even if you're not currently thinking of filming there, those, again, are contacts that build out your, your information base. And we're incredibly excited at how many commissions will actually be with us next month. And I think Jennifer's appearance here, by the way, 